The goal objective is for white genetic survival on the planet Earth and to prevent white genetic annihilation. Because on this planet, the vast majority of people have melanin in their skins and they are black, brown, red, and yellow. All of those people are genetically dominant compared to people who classify themselves as white. Study chemistry or heard of chemistry and haven't heard the word melanin. You have just been studying social science. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I am thrilled to be here at the fourth annual Melanin Conference. I hope my eyes don't look too tired. I was in New Orleans before, but here I am. I feel that the ancestors have been invoked this evening, and I feel that uh, they have given me the charge, and they continue to give me the charge to recruit for the Army of Justice. To recruit males and females and females and males that are going to take their melanin cells and lead this army that is going to end the greatest injustice that has ever been on the planet Earth. And that is the injustice of racism and the injustice of white supremacy. <laughs> An injustice that I maintain began because some people had the misfortune not to have melanin. I was going to entitle my remarks, The Gold Mine of Melanin. There is a gold mine in melanin, but we have a problem that we have to solve before there can be the full expression of the power of melanin. And recently, I've got my board up here so I can go to work. <laughs> recently, I have begun to think about our task in terms of a pyramid. And really, we can call this army of justice we can really begin to call ourselves the pyramid builders. And at the top of this pyramid, we have justice. And we've got this eye at the top of the pyramid. And we can talk about that in a little while. But I say that at the base of the pyramid is the dynamic of truth. Truth revealed. Truth revealed about racism and about white supremacy. At this next level, going up this pyramid, we have to place understanding. Because we not only have to reveal truth, but we have to have an understanding in depth of what it is that we have revealed. And then we have all of the areas of people activity, economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, and war. Those are the areas of people activity through which we have to express our understanding and our knowledge of truth. Atop the areas of people activity, the next level has to do with what has happened to us 
And what has happened to us is that we have learned to despise and to hate melanin. And as a result of that, we do not have unity and we do not have the force and power that we need to bring about justice. Some of the forms of that hate are reflected in patterns of behavior such as gossiping, name calling, squabbling, squabbling with one another, cursing one another being discourteous, being disrespectful, stealing from one another, robbing one another, fighting one another, killing one another, using and selling drugs to one another. This is the power of racism and the power of white supremacy. Throwing down trash, making children believe that they can be adequate mothers and fathers leading to teen pregnancy, pretending that racism does not exist. And then we're going to put at the next layer of the pyramid some things that we were taught in the principles of Kwanzaa by Ron Kawenga some things that we need to focus on. I may not have them in order, and if I forget any of them, help me out. Unity, purpose, creativity, faith, self-determination, collective work and responsibility, and cooperative economics. That's it, isn't it? Okay. Don't anybody come up here and try to read this. I hope you're making notes. <laughs> you won't be able to read this. Atop that, we are going to put something from the work of Neely Fuller. The four uses of time for the victims of white supremacy. He has suggested and recommended that we discipline ourselves and use our time, energy, in four ways, in four ways alone. Number one is constructive conversation. Constructive conversation is discussions about racism and how we're gonna solve the problem of white supremacy. Constructive activity, That means building, repairing, making, entrepreneuring, all kinds of things that are constructive. Activity, three, sufficient eating and sleeping, and hold your seats. Sexual intercourse no more than twice a week so you stop worrying about it. <laughs> Is everybody with that? Now, this is what we are trying to achieve. It is a difficult task, but so was it difficult to build the original pyramid. Lifting those gigantic stones that constructed the original pyramid is something akin to what it is that we must do to bring about this revolution so that there is justice on the planet and that there is peace in the universe. I want this army that I am attempting to recruit to be able to go out, each and every soldier, to be able to go out into the world, wherever it is that they travel, wherever it is that they live, and to share knowledge and understanding of racism. I think that one of our greatest challenges and one of the things that is going to bring us very great results is that when we use the word racism, to be able to say exactly and very clearly what it is that we are talking about. 
Simply to use the R word is not sufficient because people will come along and say, well, you're saying that I'm racist and I'm saying that you're racist. Everybody's a racist, right? No.